Hello ladies and gentlemen, Will Katie with Source Audio here to tell you about the spankin' new Soundblocks Bass Envelope Filter. This is a very special pedal, there's nothing out there quite like it. You got 21 different envelope filter sounds that you can choose from and three different ways to adjust those. Just a quick rundown, we'll explore those further later in the demo, but you can choose the frequency range of the effect. You can choose the filter sweep direction, positive or negative, which is a very cool sound. And you can adjust the speed of the attack or the decay. So we're gonna cut right to it. We're gonna show you how this thing sounds. We're gonna go around the effect wheel and we're gonna play with each of those different filter sweep settings. The BEF starts things off with a pretty standard two-pole low-pass envelope filter sounds. These are great for some straight-ahead funk slap bass. Because of the relatively simple nature of the two-pole low-pass settings, it works really well for some negative filter sweeps. So let's check those out. You get into some juicier sounds with the four-pole low-pass, so you can really use some nice finger funk lines with that. But you can also get some great slap tones too. The single beak settings are your classic envelope filter sound based off of that sort of trumpet mute thing back in the day. So when you use that for some quick phrasing, you're gonna get some nice opening sounds on every single note. It's gonna work well with some quick runs. <laughs> And again, because of the standard nature of a setting like single peak, you're going to have a really punchy negative sweep if you set it that way. When you get into the triple peak section, that's more of that vocal, aquatic, out there sound that some of us are really looking for. It's going to add a lot of character to your bass lines. Give it a try. The peak and notch sounds lend themselves really well to some slow filter sweeps, so that as you're playing a line, it slowly evolves with the phrasing. And I'll show you what that sounds like. I like the phaser settings for the nice sheen that they can add to a bass line. For this next clip, I use a negative filter sweep with the slow attack to really bring out the color in the chords. <laughs> Thank you. 
So for the next couple of clips, I'm gonna play the same bass line, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the first one with a positive filter sweep, and the second one with a negative filter sweep, so you can hear the precise differences between the two. When you combine the bass specific voicings of these envelope filters with a hot hand on the headstock, you can start to have some of that fun typically reserved for guitarists. <laughs> So to take another look at that interface, let's start with the frequency knob. When you move the frequency knob to the left or the right, you are selecting the center point of the filter sweep. The sweep range knob is split into two sections. To the left you have the negative filter sweeps. Move it all the way to the left and you have 100% filter sweep. And then towards the middle you have 0% or no movement. And as you move it to the right you get into the positive filter sweep settings. Again all the way to the right, maximum filter sweep. And in the middle, minimum. The speed knob is also split into two sections. To the left, you choose the speed of the attack from slow to fast, and then once you pass the middle point, move to the right, the attack stays at fastest, and then you start to slow down the decay. So there you have it. Once again, the base envelope filter from Source Audio, latest addition to the SoundBlocks line of bass effects. If you want more info, go to www.sourceaudio.net. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.